fertilizer. I want to know if a young, tiny little gal can still do that and not hurt. I doubt. I think you still need to have a lot of good upper body strength. What we're looking at here is Tiffin has a Steadicam type device made for an iPhone. So you can get really smooth shots with an iPhone. They've got them for the flip cam or similar really lightweight cameras. Kim's demonstrating the one with an iPhone on it. And you balance it, those controls balance it. Hang on to it like that. Yeah. And very small, very lightweight. Your arm would probably never get tired holding that thing. And yet uh, you can get a really smooth floating steady cam type shot with this device. Turn it around so I can see the camera part too. And see it has this little gimbal here. Everybody had a good show? So you hold it there and it spins, you know, it floats around. It's a real floaty, soft, smooth movement. So very cool device. You wouldn't want to be that fast with it though. Yeah. You don't want to don't want to do it that fast. But if you um, have an iPhone want to make a movie, that's a great great device. Here's this guy demonstrating stabilizer with the red one on it, the red camera on it. And what school? College of Southern Nevada. Right! Yay! I have a community and now I want to get that changed on there. Now, Kim's demonstrating a steady cam for a smaller camera. This is a Canon uh, HDV, I believe, camera. It's, it's not really balanced. It, yeah, it hasn't been adjusted. Really, it's not quite balanced, but it's a little steady cam device where you can get a nice floaty. No, it's a Sony HDB. Nice, get a nice floaty shot without a lot of rigging, and it's probably not. And a small little person. Yeah, Kim says a small person like her can do it. It doesn't take a lot of muscles to carry the thing. So that's a nice little steady cam for a compact camera.